All right, working on the uh, 67 C10 here. Um, we got our rendering for the engine bay, so I'm gonna get some cardboard out, uh, start laying out some stuff, see what will work and what won't work, and then uh, we'll get this thing knocked out. All right, first we're gonna start with the firewall. Got that all laid out, bead rolled, tacked in place. Then we gotta to go to the trans tunnel. We're gonna to have to make a little more clearance for our tranny. We also got a little issue with the motor sitting back as far as distributor clearance, so I'll have to make a little cut out there for that. Then we'll move on to the rest of the engine compartment. All right, so now we got that all finished up, the firewall and the trans tunnel. We're gonna move on to the front and uh, do the radiator cover. We got some bead roll design we wanna kinda blend in with the firewall itself. Just make it real nice flow, roll the edges over. Gonna be a lot of little pieces welded together to make it happen, and then we'll move on to the inner fenders. So on our radiator cover now, kind of got our design for the inner fender set up. So we got a little transition of where the inner fender comes up to the core support and the radiator cover goes over that edge. So we're gonna make those corners up, get them around and make the whole thing just kind of flow together.
we're moving on to the inner fenders, um, we're going to do something a little different on this. Uh, we're going to use the arc light table to cut out some quarter inch or three eighths plate. And we're going to cut out our design that we want. And then actually I'll tack that to the panel air hammer from the other side to get a, a deeper groove. Um, the reason we're doing that is because we can get a, a real symmetrical design and the depth that we want because our bead roller can only go so deep on our bead roll. We wanted something a little different on the inner fenders. We'll get that uh, hammered out. Then we'll just get them shaped up and attached and uh, we'll be good to go. On the engine compartment, we had one more design we wanted to put into this, which was uh, something under the hood. The underside of the hoods are so plain on these. We decided to go with more of a decorative piece. It's not necessarily a structural brace or anything. Actually, it kind of mirrors the staggered step of the injection on the motor. We had a design we cut out on Arcolite table. Did a little bead work, some dimple dies in it. Kind of gives a little added touch to the underside of the hood in the engine compartment.
right, well, we've got everything fitted up. Everything looks good. Uh, we've got all the welds metal finish. So um, now really the only thing left is to send it over to Body Work. Thanks for coming to our YouTube page. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe. If you want notifications, click on the bell. If you want to buy some cool merch, click on the info card, or you can click on the link in the bio.